okay hello there so in continuation with our previous model of hardware testing where I demonstrated you to understand various components of this PCB of the power supply and I introduce you to its various component and how it provides a stable regulated power supply with this unregulated power source at the input through this power jack we connected but in the previous module I have to rectify two mistakes the first one I showed the video is correct no problem with that the only point I want to mention is that this power jack that you see right here uh, this is like a 5 volt let me take you closer to this uh, PCB board so you can see now on this PCB you have this 5 volt uh, power supply this is 5 volt this is 3.3 volt and this is again 5 volt and 3.3 volt so you see this jumper that is placed on 3.3 volt and this jumper is placed on 5 volt it means the pins I place the jumper on that's the supply I'm going to get at the output so it means here at this to positive and negative I'm going to have this 3.3 volt at this side I am going to measure 5, uh, 5 volt okay and uh, reverse is the case if I switch the jumper I'll show you that demonstration but so now what was the problem in the previous uh, section uh, we had this battery this is a fresh battery and the old battery I have replaced this measured 7 volt and this is a fresh battery with the 9 volt so as the old battery drained we actually could measure the 3.3 volt at the nodes in our previous video but we were unable to measure the 5 volt but now with the fresh battery we just take a look whether we are able to measure 5 volt or not and 3.3 volt or not so here we are so here we are setting our multimeter to the DC voltage so, uh, we don't have to select the range because it is set to auto mode let just connect your uh, probes to the positive and negative so this side to my left I am sure sh I should be able to measure 3.3 volt let's 3.3 volt yes correct this side to my right I should be able to measure 5 volt that's correct I am measuring 5 volt right so you see now uh, this is how I am with the battery uh, 9 volts uh, fresh battery power source so even if it was 7 volt I could not measure more than 3.3 volt 5 volt forget about 5 volt so as comp as opposed to the internet uh, data information if you just type the breadboard 3.3 and 5 volt supply you will have a lot of vendors showing their web pages uh, about this PCB pictures and some specification and they'll mention to you that the input voltage unregulated input voltage can be between 6.5 and 12 volt so do not trust that I had this 7 volt battery that could not deliver me that your battery must be at least 9 volt to measure that okay so now what we see at different points of this uh, board we are going to measure the voltages let me check what voltage I should get here 3.3 volt yes yes then here 5 volt because I see the marking there yes 5 volt right so these are the basically uh, connection point from here to the rest of the breadboard area you can power your circuits from these points and now uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to just change the jumpers and see what's it doing. but doing that I risk shorting the pins on the PCB because it is switched on so better way is to either disconnect your power supply or just to press the switch to switch off the power uh, PCB and now with that done I can do now I let's say I have 3.3 volt now here and I have 5 volt here so let us measure I should be able to measure 5 volt here and should be able to measure 3 volt here so let us do that switch on the power that's it and let's see how much I measure so here I see 5 volt as said before here I see 3.3 volt 
perfect so it's really good that i have shown you the demonstration of whenever you are building testing or prototyping the circuits or your design on a breadboard you have a hardware and you need a power supply a regulated power supply for that you need a small pcb this pcb will cost you about a few dollars like let's say uh, five dollar maybe uh, maximum or ten dollar maximum five dollar minimum yeah and uh, that's all so i hope you like this video and stay tuned for more informative content on this and we are going to have a good technically rich content uh, you like this video uh, put your comments and share it with others and uh, do subscribe to the channel for more technically rich content till then wish you a happy learning